Welcome back to the channel everybody, e. Martin with Belvoir Auto Spa and uh, today's video we're going to be going over the new SPTA cordless mini polisher 12 volt LD104 is the model number. Uh, this cost about $190 on Amazon at the time of this recording. Um, <clears throat> basically it's, it's the, I'm going to show you both here in a second, it's an upgraded version of the older one. It is a bit bigger uh, but it does have more power which is you know that's that's what we want so it's 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 bigger but it has more power um it comes with it can do more uh larger pads um incredible value though at 190 dollars for this i know there is the max shine polisher which seems to be a good one and the max shine honestly it's a copy design if you look up uh, the max shine m uh 0312 excuse me 0312 i think it's called there's another brand it's like a blue one same exact polisher uh, kit comes with the same stuff, just a different brand. SPTA, despite it being a Chinese company, I don't see their, their units get copied. So, um, you know, they're mainly a tool manufacturer is what I've discovered. Um, you know, manual and power tools. They make a lot of power tools. But it seems like uh, they have gotten more into the detailing aspect of power tools. And I don't see their polisher designs copied like uh, other brands tend to, to have. So they, they do a good job of keeping all that uh, locked up. So um, anyways, <clears throat> this is the box that it comes in. It actually comes triple boxed. So again, if you watch any of my previous videos, this is what SPTA's packaging looks like for pretty much anything you buy. SPTA comes like this, comes in a similar looking box, product name on it, yada, yada, yada. That's how the box looks. Um, yeah, it came triple box, so you know it'll come intact, and then it's got its own carrying case. So before I open these up, um, it came with a crap load of pads, so you should be set on pads pretty much freaking forever. So we've got a row of one inch pads right here, we've got two inch pads right here, and then we've even got three inch pads. So this can run three inch pads with some power. I'll be happy because um, then I won't need to grab my three inch corded machine. I can use the cordless more often. It also came with some brushes uh, that go directly into the uh, the, the spindle or the, the drive shaft. Um, it's got this uh, these soft white brushes and these coarse brown brushes or gray brushes. Um, and that that I guess that could be nice for certain things, uh, trying to scrub things, you know, whatever it may be, detailing, bathroom, kitchen, whatever. Um, got some uh, good power with this little machine. So I'm going to get these opened up and I am going to compare them. Um, and we're going to be, you know, showing things at the same time. Uh, basically, first thing I'm going to do is just compare the two together, how they look size-wise and everything. And um, yeah, let me actually, I just remembered I got the batteries over there charging. They are fully charged. So let me go grab those real quick. All right. So first I'm just going to go over everything that it comes with in the package. Um, so I've got this here, comes with two batteries, uh, comes with a charger. The charger has an indicator light, red when it's charging, green when it's fully charged, just plugs in. I wish it was like a, a charging base, like their uh, bigger polishers come with instead of the cord, but it's, it's not the end of the world, it's not a deal breaker, it'd just be more convenient. Uh, we've got different sized pads or backing plates in here, if I can get this open bag ripped apart on me when I first got it. All right, uh, so we've got a three inch pad, two inch pads, and then a one inch pad. So the one inch pad only works with the uh, short throw. Uh, the two inch pads, we got one for the long throw, one for the short throw, and the three inch only works with the long throw. So you can see the uh, little uh, threads are different sizes. These are a bit fatter than these ones. So that just indicates what a uh, they can be used with. And then here, got different counterweights and tools. So we've got the 12 millimeter uh, throw counterweight. Uh, we've got the, what does this say on it? Three millimeter throw counterweight. We've got two extension shafts to use it as a rotary. Uh, we've got this little uh, pinhole thing. This used to be used on that one to lock it in place, but now it just uses the uh, wrench so I don't know why it has it but yeah the wrench to so you can spread everything on. And then we've also got uh, little guards. This one goes over the 12 millimeter, this one goes over the three millimeter. 
Um, so just some interesting stuff there. And then we've got the machine itself. So one thing that bugged me is if you look at this case, right? Um, the machine, if I can get this out of the way so I can get this more in mind. The machine is only set to fit in the case without anything on it. So if you're going to put this away, you got to take everything off. Or alternatively, you can size it out. You can cut this foam out so it fits in there with the other stuff on it. Um, so kind of an oversight by them, but it's not a big deal. Uh, we've got the instruction manual here. And I just want to show you the batteries between the old one and the new one are interchangeable. So here's a battery from the old one. Turns on just fine. So that's nice now I'll have four batteries instead of two, which battery life on this has never been an issue because I've never done, you know, large areas at a time, but, you know. So this, uh, unlike the other one, this just uses a trigger and it's got a trigger lock. Um, and then your speed controls are on the back here. So the old one had digital control, which I thought was... It was cool, but, um, you know, pretty much every one of my other polishers just uses this tried and true system here. Um, I don't like that this doesn't click like the bigger polishers do, but that's not a deal breaker. It's just, it's whatever. Um, so real quick, I can show you how to set this up in different configurations. So if we do the um, rotary first, so you can just put either extension shaft on. When I do it, I usually do this one. Uh, now, in rotary mode, uh, you don't need to put this guard on here. Um, I mean, you can. It just simply twists on like that. But I don't see a point for it when it's rotary. I only see a point for that when it's dual action, so your counterweight's not slamming up against stuff. But we can actually see are these different sized. No, these are the same size threads, so I think using it as, using it as a rotary... Again, it's not going to work with the bigger ones, yeah. So if you use that as a rotary, it's only going to work with these uh, the, the smaller little shafts. But just to show you real quick. And then boom, you got a little rotary polisher. All right. And then let's set this to the side because so we're going to use that for a test. So do an eight mil or a three millimeter throw. I keep on to say eight. Uh, you can just start twisting this on. And use the wrench here to hold it in place so you can get it nice and snug. You don't have to crank it on. You just got to get it all the way on there. And then we can take the smaller pad here. And again, you're going to use the wrench again to hold hold this in place while you twist that pad on. Actually, I almost forgot. Before you put the pad on, take the smaller guard for the 3mm and put that on there. That way it's not smacking into anything. Yeah, I got that smaller one. I'm gonna use a slightly bigger one. You just got, you got different sizes, which is neat, right? So this is dual action. And it is free spinning, so you can stop it with your hand. So that's just a three millimeter orbit if you need it. Something just fell down. There's a ghost in here. All right, so take that off. Make sure I do that in view of the camera. Take this off. Take this off. So hopefully if you buy this, this helps you understand the machine better. How to assemble, disassemble. Yada yada yada. So this is the 12 millimeter orbit. 
this is probably what's going to be your main one on this side. And then take the bigger one. And you see how it has this little notch on it? The little notch faces towards the outside. The other side has the threads on it. So put this on here. And we will take our, I'm just going to take the big three inch pad. We're just going to test that out, test out the three inch pad right away. And <clears throat> thread that on there. Boom. Take all these big three inch pads. And boom. You got a three or a three inch 12 millimeter throw polisher. Now, to compare it to the older one, <clears throat> and I will, um, I'm gonna take, this one's more of a pain. So let me get this, uh, I'm gonna get the larger pad on because again, I'm just showing the power. Now this is also a 12 millimeter orbit. This uses digital controls. You can see it's 12 millimeter orbit. Now, I think it's a 12 millimeter orbit. Uh, I'll leave in the description or the comments if it's not a 12 millimeter orbit. I honestly don't remember. Uh, but we need to, actually I can use this tool right here. Uh, they included this. For this, I don't know why, but this is was so you could get this uh, backing plate out. Kind of just locked it in place. I'm gonna put the larger backing plate on this one. It's gotta find that sweet spot where it's locked. There we go. Now the problem I had with this one, this one worked fine as a dual action or a rotary with the smaller one inch plate. But when I bumped it up to a two inch, I would this thing would, would cut out all the time because it would get overloaded. And what was nice, I do like the old pads that it came with compared to these newer pads. Um, because you got a two inch, uh, basically a two inch pad backing that became a three inch on the front. So you had similar surface area. Maybe it's two and a half. Yeah, I think it was like two and a half, not completely three, but you know, just to show you comparison. So a two and a half inch, not a three inch. Um, oh, this is, so this is a nine millimeter orbit. That's what it says. It says it right here, nine millimeter. It's not 12 millimeter like this. So this one does three or 12. This one only does nine. They both do rotary, okay? Um, but this one would get bogged down all the time, but... It worked well with the, with the smaller plate. Now, uh, a thing you'll notice is that there's a definite size difference here. I mean, look at how much more this one, this new one, sticks out than the older one. So it's not going to be as good for those tight spots. Um, it does come out a lot further. Uh, overall length of it is the same. Um, weight, this one's definitely heavier than this one. Definitely feel a weight difference. But... Um, let me get some polish and then go over the test panel. I'm not going to actually correct anything. I'm just going to show you uh, how these work. Um, like, you know, how this one would stall compared to the other one. Let's get a good pad on there real quick. All right, let's head over that test panel. All right, so I'm not showing off detail or defect removal here. That's not what my intention for these tools is. These tools are meant to supplement your larger tools in tighter areas. So you should be using the same combination of pad and compound that you would with the larger tools so you know what uh, you're working with and what defects to get out. So I'm just going to take some light polish. Car Pro Reflect doesn't have a lot of cut and has really good gloss. Uh, we got a, the polishing pad on the older one, or the smaller one, I guess I should say. Not necessarily older. It's enough polish. So I'm going to show you basically how this thing bogs down and cuts out. 
So if I'm not applying any pressure, as a dual action it works fine. It's stalling a lot. Okay, but it's not actually cutting out in dual action. Um, but if I had this in rotary, it did it a lot. And I don't know if maybe I just didn't, I needed to charge the battery more, but it does not have a lot of power. Like you can see how, how easily that stalls when you just put a little bit of pressure down on it. I'm not putting that much pressure down, like maybe, I don't know, five pounds of pressure or so. Uh, so let me grab the other one and we will see how that one does when loaded with pressure. And this one has a longer orbit as well, so it's going to have more correction power if you're using the 12 millimeter throw. Of course, if you're using the uh, three millimeter, it's not going to correct as much. If you're using the rotary, you'll get correction. The fresh pad slides so squeaky. I'm putting the same amount of pressure on this and the pad is not stalling and it could be because of its longer throw oh yeah this one's definitely got more power behind it so I'm gonna throw these both in rotary mode off camera real quick and we're gonna see how they do as uh, rotaries compared to each other all right so I got these both in their rotary configuration I'll take this nice big plush SPTA uh, 1200 GSM towel, wipe that panel off, nice and glossy. All right, a little bit more polish on here. Get the camera, of course. All right, so this is again with the two inch uh, backing plate rotary mode. Let's see how this does as a rotary. Because rotary is a direct drive, um, it tends to take more power to spin the pad because there's more resistance on it. So, See how that cut out? And then lights flashing? That's the problem I had with this when using it with the bigger pad. And again, there's barely any pressure on it. It just it gets overloaded and cuts out um, I mean I don't, I don't know what else to say about that and this is just a polishing pad this isn't like a super stiff pad or anything so I'd have to shut it off and turn it back on every time uh, so as a dual action with these larger pads it's fine but as a rotary with these larger pads it was useless so let me grab the other one and uh, I got a wool pad on this wool pad is more uh, resistant than a polishing pad Put some a little bit of polish on there. We'll see how this one handles pressure. Put it on speed one, of course. I'm pushing hard. And it's not stopping. I take the pressure off just because I want to. See if I can polish. That's going to leave a bunch of buffer trails, so I want to make sure I polish it out. So as a miniature corded rotary, this thing is a beast. Now, unfortunately, again, it doesn't handle the big 3-inch pad. Um, that would make this even that much better if it did, because um, my only 3-inch rotary is a mini rotary or you got to take out the big one and put a three inch uh backing plate on it so yeah unfortunately it doesn't go with a three inch but you know i'll allow it it's it's all right uh you take what you can get and i love 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 these towels that they have i'll link these towels below too these are 1200 gsm uh, just for reference the usual korean plush microfibers like the eagle edgeless 500 from the rag company those are 500 GSM, so this is more than double the thread count. These things are ultra thick. Like, look at just having it folded up. Look at that. Amazing. 
Anyways, uh, let's go in for the final thoughts of this polisher. All right, so when it comes to this new SPTA uh, cordless mini polisher, um, it actually looks like it is slightly shorter lengthwise, but uh, height-wise, I guess you could say, or width-wise, the pad does stick out more, even with a rotary. So uh, it is going to be a bit of a bulkier tool if you're used to this one, uh, but they do take the same batteries, which is nice. They use the same chargers, which is nice. Uh, you can, you know, crisscross the pads between them. The pads doesn't really matter. Pads aren't machine-specific. Machine um, now, with dual action, you do have the option of 3 millimeter with this one, where this one only does... Uh, this one only does nine millimeter. So this is like a good in-between really. I'm gonna keep both because you know I'm still gonna have uses for this. This is gonna get in really tight spaces and this This is gonna be my uh, three inch uh, 12 millimeter throw. I have a quarter three inch 12 millimeter throw uh, This thing's got some serious power for what it is, but um yeah, SPTA just uh, continuing to, uh, you know, make great tools for detailers um, both for enthusiasts and professionals I mean, are these as nice as the Rupes and the Flex? No, they're not. But, um, you know, you compare $190 and you get all this uh, versus the Flex, which is like 500 bucks, and the Rupes, which is like 400 bucks. Um, and I've been told the Rupes doesn't have much power. It's kind of similar to this one, um, where this one's got a, a bundle of power. So very powerful, big upgrade from this one. Um, but again, they do, they're both still going to have their place um, but this one's going to be more versatile now that it, it can uh, have that power as a rotary, a cordless rotary. Because I've been needing a cordless rotary. I just wish it did again. I wish it did 3-inch, um, but it doesn't have 2-inch. It'll be all right. Um, but I can always throw this pad on here to kind of get a bigger surface area. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed the video and this was uh, eye-opening if you've been considering getting either this one or this one or maybe both. Um, I'll have them both linked below. I'll have the, a link the review that I did of this one below as well. Um, I'll have a link to these uh, really nice uh, towels that they make as well. Um, and I also have a video I did just reviewing SPTA in general as a brand. I've got a bunch of stuff from them. I've got polisher, extension bars. I've got a little miniature rotary extension flex shaft so I can get under uh, door handles and such like that. I mean, they just this company delivers an incredible value that is hard to come by these days, especially with the crazy economy and all that crap going on. But uh, really great stuff from SPTA. So any SPTA reps uh, that are watching this that can understand me, thank you for uh, bringing these products to market. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is my, what, my fourth SPTA tool. You can see up there on the shelf, uh, there's one, there's the other. Um, there's two boxes with the uh, the the mini flexible rotary shaft thing and then the uh, extension bars um these two tools i've got wash mitts brushes freaking clay <laughs> they they got everything guys um yeah really good brand appreciate uh that they are available and i will link these below if you're interested in purchasing them if you purchase the polisher or anything through those links that supports this channel directly, so I appreciate uh, any anybody doing that to support the channel. If you don't want to spend money to support the channel, uh, you can you can support the channel for free by liking this video, commenting down below, and subscribing if you haven't already. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I appreciate you all watching, and um, yeah, comment with your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.